Yeah, hi, my name is Manish. I'm a graphics product manager at Qualcomm. So what we're showcasing here is the latest Snapdragon 805 processor that we have that comes with a new, uh, brand new Adreno 420 GPU. It's the latest architecture, as well as it has 40% better graphics performance than the old Snapdragon 800 with Adreno 330. It also comes with the hardware level specifications that match with the highest end desktop and console, so which is DirectX 11.2 compatible. So here what we're showcasing is uh, a tessellation demo. Tessellation is one of the features of this DirectX 11.2. So um, right now you're looking at how the game and content would look on uh, Snapdragon 800 or any other mobile platform for that matter or any mid-range PC. Um, and uh, you can see the ground is pretty flat, there's no details on the back of the Hornet, but when I turn on the tessellation, what the GPU is able to do is it's able to add in these tessellation dynamically. If you, if you notice it, the ground is actually adding more geometry. You can look at the right side of the image and see the triangles uh, are being added. There's more depth to it, so displacement mapping is adding more uh, depth effect and um, uh, details onto the ground as well as onto the back of the, uh, the Hornet itself. So all that is possible because of the Adreno 420 GPU's DirectX 11.2 features and uh, tessellation. So dynamic tessellation is something that was available on uh, highest end desktop consoles, desktops and consoles, and now it's possible on mobile because of the Snapdragon 805 processor.